This is Spirit Journey. I'm sitting here, candle gazing, and I just thought of something that I wish to share. As I'm looking at my white candle, I remembered something that was said, something that came to me. You know, in this culture, Western culture, like everybody else, I was taught that anything black was evil. That included black people, African people, the word black male, all these terminologies with the prefix black was considered bad, innately bad and evil. I did a video last year, I believe it was, as I started to become aware and challenge my brainwashed ideas. And I entitled the video, Black, the New Pure. Because we were taught, again, that things black was bad. And then I said to myself that black is just a quality. It in itself is harmless. But it got a bad rap because of its quality that things black, it's hard for you to see through it. But it in itself is dormant. It's, it's not doing anything but just being what it is. And that when you look through, if you're able to look through, you'll see what's behind it. And that black, things black could be pure. We've all heard of thing pure white. Well, this pure black, it's just a quality. And then it was something that I really want to get at. I hope I can remember in detail. But as I'm sitting, sitting here, looking at my candle in the darkness, with my incense going on, and my crystals, that the quality, that things, things could, just because something is black, it doesn't mean that it's evil or not true. When we go beyond the blackness, you may see the white. But things white does not equate truth. Something like that. It was just something that came to me. You have two opposites, two extreme opposites. How many of us see a light? Does things white equate truth? I've seen people who falsely accused of things because of blackness. Aren't the things that deceive that are white are really that which is potentially more evil? We look at things white 
and we are disarmed and we feel to see through it because we are so brainwashed and at that which looks innocent and white can actually be evil. White may be pure, but purity does not equate goodness, and black does not equate evil. Black has gotten a bad rap by its nature because you cannot see through it. But one day, you'll all be able to look at the blackness and see through it if we wish to and see the truth that is really hidden in the blackness. Even in Genesis of the Bible, in the beginning there was blackness. Life always starts with darkness. And that which is the root basis of our existence, which creates things, cannot in itself be evil. Because, because if it were, then we are all evil because all of us were born in darkness. Darkness nurtured us. When you put a seed in the ground, that darkness is what nurtures that seed to grow, not whiteness. Things cannot grow in whiteness in its early gestation. It's just something that I began to notice, really notice, that we may have it all backwards about this light and dark, this white and black, this duality. We are, we're being fooled just because you cannot see through blackness, it is not your enemy. We have to understand it and embrace it and be really careful of those things that are white and pure by mistaking that it is goodness. Let us really see with our eyes open to see through the darkness and to see that it's really your friend. Let us stop vilifying that which truly nurtures us. Thank you. More thoughts. As I, as I look into the candle, I take it for granted what I see. See the bright light, the white candle, and then I don't look any further because I say to myself, that's all that there is. What if I develop eyes to see beyond the whiteness, the light? What would I really see? I would be seeing that which is innate in the candle or candlelight and that might be more revealing. We just stop our senses and say there's no, nothing more beyond the, the light or the whiteness. And that's where the deception is. And I'm starting to wonder is the real illusion the whiteness? Because we don't go any further. 
we just take it for granted what we see as being real. And maybe that's the real illusion and maybe that's the real lie. And we look into things that are black and then we blame a bad event because you couldn't see, you couldn't see beyond it. Well, maybe we should really learn how to see beyond the blackness and ask the Creator, I wish to be able to see through the blackness and see the truth behind it and that which is white to see beyond the truth that's beyond that. Again, maybe that's where the real illusion of this world system is that both black and white may actually be the same thing. It's just like in a mirror. Mirrors are opposite in its nature. We see what we want to see, but it's always opposite. But imagine if you were able to step inside the mirror and look at the where you once were standing. You'll have a different perspective, an opposite perspective, but actually you're looking at the same thing. The same thing with black and white. It depends upon what side you're standing in it. Whether you're inside or outside of it, both of them are opposite. And at the same time, both of them are the same. Right now, we're living in a world where we're taught, where our eyes are developed for us to see the light. But there may be a world where we can actually see the reverse. To see in the blackness and that will be our new reality. So life is really all the same. It depends on what side you're looking in and the excuses or the what we express or behave as a consequence of how we see things. Let us learn to see the black and the white, what is beyond them. This is part three that I'm doing on October 22nd, 2016, and it is Saturday at 1.36 p.m. This is more thoughts that I have regarding the term of blackness and how we are taught early in life that things that are black are things to be avoided and that blackness is to be feared. My thought is this now. You know, in life there are different types of vision. We have eyes, two eyes, that we see using what we call the visible light. It's about seven different colors that makes up the spectrum for what we call visible light. But as we know, light is a frequency. There's a set of vibrations. But you know, the human eye is limited, just like our body is limited. It can only do so much because of the parameters that the physical body and the physical eyes have. However, we're spirit beings, and maybe we can teach ourselves how to see in the darkness. 
See, it's like almost like a foreign language. I do not speak Mandarin, which is spoken in China. But to someone from China, to read Mandarin, the, the, it's easy. But for me, I would not understand it because I do not know the symbols of that language, whether written form or verbal form. So I'm thinking even with the eyes. The, the eyes, we, we only learn how to see in a particular way with the eyes that we're born with, the physical eyes. But there's other eyes that we have that in this physical form we, we're not in touch with. And because we're not in touch with it, and because we haven't learned the language of the frequency that we call blackness, we can't see, even though the information is there before our spiritual eyes. And maybe this is part of the reason why we have the eyes, because they want us dependent on our five senses, the sense of you know, our vision, hearing, smelling, tasting, and feeling. But that's not all to life. We have to learn how to tap into the spiritual eyes that is able to read, able to see through what we call blackness. And it might be, may be a war against that ability. So the people from the past would tell us, oh you cannot do, you can't you can't play Ouija board, you can't look at the tarot cards because it deals with blackness and it's evil, even in the Bible. It talks about certain things of what we call the occult, which just means a term that means things that are hidden that it doesn't want us to tap into that other reality. And all that we see now is a war to keep us in the five sense reality and to set up pits for us to fall into or be distracted from so that we won't deal with, with able to see the real reality, or I should say, a full spectrum of our reality that is coexisting with us. This is just food for thought. Thank you.